my name is Daniel Adkins, and I play Richie Grayson in the Gotham High audio drama. Now, for this, I wanted to specifically talk about how I came to discover the Gotham High audio drama, uh, a few other characters I was going to audition for, and overall, just how I got into the project. Uh, for one, I had known Liam. Uh, we're both online internet reviewers. Uh, I go by the moniker of Danny Boy Online, uh, Danny, critic Danny Boy, uh, MVA Danny Boy for my machinima and voice acting. Uh, anyways, uh, I was planning on starting a review site similar to That Guy with the Glasses, uh, Reviewtopia, Geek Vision etc etc uh however uh, projects sort of fell through but one of the contributors and someone who was going to d be doing it with me was uh Jared aka the Rosenhacker and of course bet and it was his suggestion to bring Liam on and that's actually how I really first met Liam first save a few Skype calls uh but Liam is an awesome guy, and so the project fell through, but, you know, I still remain good friends with Liam. Anyways, one day I was checking Twitter, and I saw that Liam tweeted something about Gotham High, and obviously, as a big Batman fan, I knew what the Gotham High concepts designs were. So, and then I read on that he was doing that something about the audio drama. So I found the audio drama's website, and of course, uh, I was like, immediately like, dude, this is awesome. So I decided to jump in and audition. I asked him if there were any characters he needed a young male's voice for, since, well, I'm a young male, I'm 14. Uh, and so, uh, I asked him, and he suggested going out for Richie Grayson. And, uh, so, I obviously said, well, okay, that's definitely something I can do. And so, I went out for Richie. And besides, I'm a huge Robin fan. I love Robin. So, uh, went out for Richie. But, I was reading the cast list just to see if there were any more characters I wanted to audition for. And there were actually three other characters I meant to audition for. Eddie Nashton, a.k.a. my favorite Batman villain. The Riddler. We're putting on Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Hmm, interesting. Did you know that there is an answer to the so-called unsolvable riddle, why is a raven like a writing desk? Figured it out all by myself. You see, the answer is simply because Edgar Allan Poe wrote on both. I shouldn't expect any of you to have figured that out, though. You're all too busy on social networking sites to bother picking up a book. Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. The Penguin, Relax, Nashton. You've seen my grades, right? I'm just as smart as you, if not smarter. You don't need to worry about a thing. I've taken every precaution to make sure everything goes according to plan. Oswald Cobblepot is many things, but first and foremost, he is always alert. Oh yes, it's fish sticks day in the cafeteria! And Julian Gregory Day. Attention all students, attention all students. We have a message from a one Mr. Napier to a hairy butt. I repeat, hairy butt. Will! Stop giving me this stuff! Look over it first for crying out loud! <sighs> so, but unfortunately, due to life getting in the way, I never got around to recording those, uh, those auditions. I barely even made it to... To, around to doing Richie's, if I believe, if, I, if my memory serves correct. So, you know, I was obviously disappointed that I missed the due date, and uh, was planning on, cons on sending in anymore, but I just felt like that just wasn't right. A deadline's a deadline, and if you miss it, you miss it. So, uh, after a while, you know, of course, I had just you know, not even thought about the project till all of a sudden I got this email in my inbox. And lo and behold, it was Liam telling me, hey, you got the part. Obviously, I was 
really excited. I mean, you know, I mean, getting to do something with a lot of the people I had known and worked with and, you know, getting to do something like this, it was really awesome. And it, and it really sparked my reinterest in voice acting because I had b previously been a part of the Super Smash Brothers Brawl Machinima uh, community, but uh, that kind of fell through when no one was doing it anymore. But, anyways, I digress. You know, boom, I got the part and I was super excited and uh, really could not, and, you know, getting to know some of the other cast members through, uh, you know, through Skype calls whenever we were discussing stuff. It, you know, I, I really, these cast members are some very funny people, v very awesome, great people, like David. I had never even spoken to David before, um, before one of, before a Skype call discussing Gotham High stuff. And I must say, he is awesome. David Gregory, David De Gre David De Gre 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 this guy is awesome. So yeah, that's how I found the Gotham High audio drama. Uh, and that's how I ended up with uh, Richie Grayson. And honestly, I'm very happy and I cannot wait till we do some, till the show starts. It's going to be really good. I think everyone's gonna love it. It's gonna be awesome. So stay tuned.